First, we're going to set the clock. To do this, we're going to flash the SIP counter set clock file to the feather. You should see the correct date and time show up on the screen. Next, we're going to flash the code to register SIPs. After opening the code, we can see that there's a place to change the name of the device. This is useful if you have multiple devices running simultaneously. We'll first see a waiting screen that will show you the file name that the feather is writing to. The file name includes the number of the device, the date, and an incrementing number, which can be used if you're recording multiple sessions with the same mouse. Once it's flashed, it can be unplugged and will run for several days off the same battery. The battery can be charged through the micro USB port. Now, press A to start. We can see that every time that there's an interaction with the spout, the duration and the number of the interaction is logged. The battery state and the device number are also shown.